Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is Philippine Debaters Association, your admin and host, brother uh, Ross J. Rod Casona. And we have now our new debate from tonight. Uh, we have Alvin Gitamundok and Pastor Alexander Santos for this debate tonight. So the topic that we will be discussing here is about uh, Salvation. Uh, salvation by grace through faith uh, cannot be uh, cannot be lost. No? So salvation by faith, uh, salvation by grace through faith cannot be lost. So the affirmative side here is Pastor Alexander Santos and the negative side is Brother Alvin Gitamundok of Roman Catholic Church. No, so our affirmative side is from the Baptist Church. Uh, so Brother Alexander Santos, uh, you have your two minutes time to uh, introduce yourself, Brother Alex, for two minutes. Okay, uh, good evening and good day to everyone. Uh, my name is Alexander Santos. I'm a Baptist. I will prove to you that the salvation by faith actually is possible. And that, uh, this faith is the righteousness of God. So I hope you like everything. I hope you see that the value of the blood sacrifice is enough for our salvation. Uh, may God bless us all in Jesus' name. For those who will hear all the sarcasm and all the attack, please do not focus on that because as a, as a debater, uh, we, we have that kind of style, uh, strategy to put down each other. But uh, again, okay, we can be in heaven and uh, no, 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 uh, no normal person will, will wish to somebody to go to heaven. So I hope you see the battle as a... Uh, uh, as we are proving something on our behalf in terms of faith or in, term, in terms of any, any, any so again, may God bless us all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Brother Arvin, for two minutes, introductory. Good evening, everyone, and good day to everybody here watching in our live uh, debate with Brad Alexander Santos of the Baptist Church. I am Brad Alvin Gitamondok, Bishop Delegated Roman Catholic Apologist to represent the RCC on the negative side. I hope we can learn many things from this debate. Okay. Good night again. Uh, good evening. Brad Ross, that's all. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Brother Alvino. So that was uh, our debaters, Brother Pastor Alexander Santos of Baptist Church and Alvin Gitamundok of the RCC. So uh, let's start our debate for this evening. Uh, let's start from Pastor Alexander Santos for his uh, 10 minutes presentation for the topic. Uh, Brother Alex, your time will start as soon as you speak. Uh, before you start the time, uh, Brother Ross or J. Rod, uh, uh, we, we, we said that, if it, is it okay if we get the 10 minutes questioning also? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, yes, sorry. Uh, Brother Alvin has agree with that. Yes, I agree. It's okay with me. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start... Uh, Right now, I'm going to start. Okay, so uh, All right. good day, everyone. Okay, uh, um, the first verse that I'm going to use is uh, 2 Timothy 2.15. The reason why I'm going to use this is we are Christian. We use the verses that is pertaining to Christian. Otherwise, we can mix everything and we're going to go to the confusion or understanding that wrong uh, from 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 uh, from the way I study the Bible, what did, what did it say in Second Timothy fifteen? Study meaning we have to study to show thyself approved unto God, 
a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So what does it mean? It simply, it simply uh, dispenses the right, the right book, the right verses at the right timeline. For instance, we don't want we we, we cannot uh, eat the fruit right now and be, uh, obey God. It's already done. We cannot go to. Uh, is it okay if I request to uh, put the what do you call that to mute so that it will be clear, guys? Uh, to, uh, I I can hear the echo. Okay, I, right now it's clearer. Okay, uh, so uh. Rightly dividing the word of truth is so important, okay? Now, if we mix all of this, we'll get to confusion, like what I've said. So, I, by faith, cannot, by faith we are saved, and it's the gift of God. And, and these this verses from Ephesians 2, 8 through 10, they use this in a wrong way, okay? So, I'm going to explain this to you clearly. It says here, Ephesians 2, 8. Let's, let's dissect and digest this real good, okay? For by grace are ye saved through faith. Grace, you are saved through faith, okay? And that not of yourselves. It, it says it's not because of us. What is this? It is the gift of God. So the salvation is a gift. And what did it say? Through faith. Now, the question is, on the second verse, what do I need to do? It says here on 9, not of works. Remember? Not of works, lest any man should boast. No one can say, oh, I'm a good person. Oh, I'm feeding this, I'm feeding that. I'm serving this, I'm serving that. Not of works, because it was the gift of God. And it still is the gift of God. Now, now that we have that, continue to, to, to 210 or Ephesians 210, for we are his workmanship. Now that we are saved, we are now part of the body of Christ. Okay? Created in Christ Jesus, who is Christ the mediator. Right? So after he died and rose again, and we believed in the blood by faith or, or accepted the gift of God, it says we are now created in him unto good works. Unto good works means be sanctified. Be holy, meaning try to do good. You know why? If you don't do good, we have a what you call judgment seat of Christ. But before the judgment seat of Christ, we have a what you call the uh, rapture, okay? Rapture, th th this Christian time will end. This is not forever. That's why we have to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We have rapture, meaning we'll get caught up in uh, Thessalonians 4, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17. We'll get caught up. And after we get caught up, we'll have a judgment seat of Christ. What is the judgment seat of Christ? It will judge our body or whatever we did while, while we were or we are Christians. We're still in a Christian era, okay? So we are saved by faith. We're going to get raptured. And then uh, the one who dies now will go to the judgment seat of Christ also, okay? We'll, get, we'll go to heaven. And then uh, God, God will judge what we did. It says here, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done. So, Whatever we did will we'll, we'll be judged, okay? And then if we do bad, what will happen to us if we do bad? Okay, I'm not suggesting for you to do good. I mean to do bad. We always want to do good to God. But we are sinful. Our body is sinful. It cannot be righteous unless we receive the righteousness of God. That's why it says, so lest any man should boast. No one should boast. I cannot say I'm a good person because I'm doing this. Okay, we, we cannot do the salvation. Jesus did it for us. It says on 1 Corinthians 3, uh, 13, every man's work will be made manifest. Every man's work will be made manifest. What does it mean? The judgment seat of Christ, whether it will be good or bad. For the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire. This is not purgatory. On uh, 14, if anyone's work abide, 
you should receive a reward. If anyone's work shall burn, you shall suffer loss, but you or he himself shall be saved. Yet so as by fire. What is the fire? That is the baptism of the fire to clean or, or, or cleanse us with all the dirt. God doesn't look uh, at us, on us for saying, you know what? You did this. So we are saved by faith. We have, we'll get raptured. There is judgment seat of Christ for us. Christians will have judgment. Now, after the rapture, what will happen to the left behind? Guys, you have to get this, okay? Hebrew is, is written by Apostle Paul also. But the epistles of Paul from Romans to Philemon, you will not get any work involvement for salvation. It's all for uh, by faith. Uh, justification by faith, justification uh, from the blood of Jesus Christ. So what will happen after the rapture? Okay, let's read this. Hebrews 6, 4 to 6. Hebrew book is all about blood justification, and it is a transitional book from the church to the tribulation time. A lot of church uh, tribulation time uh, uh, passages right here introducing the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, to the Jews or to the uh, and to the Gentiles, what did it say in Hebrew four, six four six? For listen to this, it is impossible for those who were once enlightened, who was once on, enlightened, the Christians. It is impossible, and have tasted of the heavenly gift. We have the gift, right? And it's impossible for those Christians. Why is it impossible, right? On 6, this is what it says. If they shall fall away, to renew them again unto repentance. See, it is impossible to renew them again. Let's say, for instance, if I kill somebody, if I uh, fornicate, if I turn away from the faith, it says here, it is impossible if you fall away to renew them again unto what? Repentance. So if you repent today, Jesus is just to forgive you from for all of your sins. But it says right here, it is impossible. No more faith right here. Why? Because the Christians are already raptured. However, they're mixing and matching from, uh, they're doing the faith plus work for salvation as, as my opponents will do. Okay? But our doctrines is from Apostle Paul. That is the gospel of salvation that Jesus died and resurrected. It says here also that if you preach any other gospel, then I preach. Apostle Paul said, it's my gospel. So if you preach any other gospel from what we preach or what I preach, let them be a curse. Isumpa. Oh, no. <laughs> let them be a curse. So now, guys, today you cannot be saved on any good work. Even if you kneel, even if you pray every day, you cannot be saved. You cannot be saved on that. You cannot mix the grace of God the, the, from faith and works. You cannot mix that. Okay? You cannot. It is impossible for you to do, to renew them again unto repentance by faith. Because it's already done. We are already raptured. Right now, you still have a chance. Okay? You still have the chance to, uh, you still have a chance to, to, to accept the blood of Jesus Christ. You still have a chance to say that, Lord, I didn't do it. I cannot do it. Lord, I'm, I'm a sinner. My body is sinful. No matter what I do, I sin. No matter what I do, I always sin. Okay? So because Paul even said, it's not that, it's not I that do it, but the sin liveth in me. The sin lives in us. Okay, so you cannot be righteous without the righteousness of God. He did it for us. He said, if you believe, you have eternal life. If you believe, you shall never die. The question is, do you believe? He was alive when he said that. And he fulfilled that. In the book of he trained Apostle Paul to preach to the Gentile like us that we are fellow heir. And then he said this, I will blind them up. Who are they? The Jews until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. This is in the book of Romans. Why? Because of their, uh, they're, they're being cut off right now. 
<clears throat> as the original branch uh, are the original the original chosen people but we are the wild olive tree that is being grafted in okay but there is a word that god says for you uh you cannot say uh you cannot uh what do you call that thing um it says i cannot uh, say the exact wording he said because he is god uh, don't be like Jews for uh, some kind Time's of... Time's up. Uh, hello? Time's up, Brother Alex. Time's up, okay. Brother Alex. Uh, next time, Brad, so, pakibigyan yung warning kahit two minutes. Ha? Next time. Okay, sorry kasi na-interrupt ka. Uh, we have an interruption, so sorry for the interruption. Uh, okay. Uh, let's uh, proceed to Brother Alvin. Uh, Brother Alvin, can you please uh, uh, stop your electric fan because there's something static on our audio hello okay, okay, okay. yes yes yes. Uh, yes so uh, you have your 10 minutes for the cross examination brother alvin okay thank you very much brother moderator and operator helen bin of bda philippine debaters association and my friend here brad alexander santos of baptist church my first question to you, Brad Alex, is that our topic is that salvation cannot be lost after you believe or after you have faith. Where did you read that that, whole, that plain and categorical statement of your topic? Is there a okay. Bible verse that you have cited that salvation cannot be lost after you have faith? That is our topic. Okay, yes, I did. I, I read it from Ephesians 2, 8. Ephesians 2, 9. Ephesians 2, 10. We are saved by faith. Next question. Uh, cut the time. Cut, 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 cut the time, Brother Alvin. Uh, we have a, an echo in our audio. Uh, I think it's coming from you. What we gonna do for you? Alex, do you hear something coming from me? Yeah, there is from, some kind of like a wind blowing. When you when you say something, when you say something, there is a. It's not. It's not really clear. Uh, there is. Okay. Some, I don't know if uh, it's. It's, uh, it's the electric fan. Okay. Coming from Brother Alvin. Okay, uh, resume Brother Alvin for 9 minutes and 23 seconds. Okay, so three minutes, let me allow me to read the verse. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9, and then let me ask the question. In Ephesians chapter 2, which you quoted as the support of my first question to you, uh, Brother Alex, it reads here, Yes, by His grace, you are saved through faith. It was not your own doing. It is God's gift. It is not the result of anything you have done, and so no one may boast. He has paid us as what we are, creating us in Christ Jesus to do good works, in which God long ago planned for us to live. Brother Alex, I have not heard here in this verse that you gave as proof text that salvation cannot be lost. There is no word salvation can't be lost. So now, Brother Alex, would you mean that you are lying when you use this verse? Yes or no? Uh, no, you no, just no, didn't understand, understand that we that are. We have two places. places. We are. We are. We're, we're either gonna go to heaven or hell. When we said we are saved through faith, that is spiritual salvation. We are. We have a soul that we say will be saved going to heaven. And with this verse, if you're looking for salvation, Next you have to understand it fully. Next question. Next question. I think that regardless of the premise, I am asking you a Bible verse in which, again, I will demand it for the third time, letter by letter, the plain and categorical statement of our topic which we agreed to debate about that the statement is very clear, candid, and very categorical. You will prove that salvation per se cannot be lost after you have faith. We have not heard here the three words, salvation can't be lost. So again, Brother Alex, you would insist on lying to us using this verse without those plain categorical words, your topic, salvation can't be lost. The word can't be lost. You will still 
Will you insist on your lying and using this verse? Yes or no? I'm not a liar. I'm, I'm telling liar. the I'm truth. Telling the if you want to go to the book of Ephesians 1, 13, 14, the gospel of salvation is by believing. By believing means faith. If you go to Ephesians 1, 13, 14, you, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of salvation, you will be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Next one. Next question. But Alex, who went as a premise to Ephesians 1, 13, 14, Still, but Alex, like Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, I have not heard the word salvation can't be lost. So again, but Alex, my question again is this. According to Ephesians 1, 13, 14, you are now deceiving us, yes or no, yes or no, that uh, no. salvation can't be lost, although it cannot be read letter by letter in Ephesians 1, 13, 14, yes or no? Uh, no, you're wrong because you are going to a different, that's the work of the devil. It says you are saved by faith. If you believe, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Okay? If you don't see, if you don't understand that, you have a problem. Next question. Next question. I have heard from your first time. From Timothy 2.15, Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, first Thessalonians 4, 16, 18, Hebrews 6, 4 to 6, etc. But Alex, honestly, I have not heard the word can't be lost. Salvation can't be lost. So again, but Alex. You would now affirm that you have not proven your case, your topic, yes or no? No, you're wrong because we are saved by faith. When you are saved, that means you are saved. You are saved for something that is lost before. So I think you're mistaken and that is the work of the devil. Next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Again, but Alex, now your interpretation only that if the words can't be lost comes only from your mouth but I want a chapter and verse letter by letter that says can't be lost according five, to God five, five verse, minutes what chapter and verse by Alex okay understand can't be lost. chapter and verse will be on Ephesians 1 13 through 14 now that you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation <clears throat> and having believed you are sealed with the Holy Spirit. When you are sealed with the Holy Spirit, God is with you. And next question. You... Next question. Next question, but Alex. Do you know that in the scriptures, if you sin with mortal sin, you can be lost? You can be out of the grace of God? Uh, no, no. Yes or no? No. no. Okay. Right now is Christian okay. time. Right now if you go to Romans 8, 38 to 39, it says there that the future and the present time, God won't leave you. Okay? Romans 8, 38 to 39. Apostle Paul, for I am, I am sure. I am sure. Next that question. we cannot lose it because uh, Jesus holding us. Next question. Next question. Do you know that uh, in the Bible, according to the letter of St. Paul, there is a verse in which we can form a race? Yes Are or you, no? Can you repeat the question? That it is possible that we can form a race? Yes or no? It's not Do you know that verse? It's not it's not clear. You're cutting off here. Cut the time. Uh, Brother Alden, can you repeat the question? My question, Mr. Moderator and Brother Alex, you know the chapter and verse in the Bible in which the scriptures, the word of God, says literally that anyone who sins can fall from grace. Do you know it? Yes or no? Yes, I know yes, that. I but know you have that. to know the time. know the time. We are on Christian time. Then. What you're going to read is about the Jews. We are Christians now. That's why I said you have to rightly divide. If you mix them together, that confusion, confusion. And the author of that is the devil. Next question. Next question. If you're not laughing, but Alex, can you tell me the chapter and verse in the New Testament? In which I based my premise, my first question, you know that it's we can fall clear. from grace. Do you know the chapter in the New Testament that we can fall from grace? Okay. Yes uh, or no? Are, uh, are, yes, that is in, uh, I think it's in uh, Timothy or Colossians, <coughs> that, that, that it says something about the faith departing from the faith. That is after the rapture. I, I said that we have a rapture. Okay, next question. 
question, Brother Alex, is that uh, since you have given me the wrong book, Colossians and First Timothy, so you will affirm now that the word fallen from grace, you do not know where in the Bible in the New Testament, yes or no? No, I know that, but I don't, I don't memorize the Bible like you do. Okay, I don't memorize it. So what I'm saying, to, what I'm trying to say is, uh, your understanding is confusion. We're Christians now. Why are you using different verses? We're Christian. We're not Jews right now. They're, they're, they are. We are saved by faith, not by works. Okay. Next question. Next question. Next question, exactly as a premise, Brad Alex, that you quoted to Timothy 2.15, so which is that you should be familiar with the chapter and verse at least of this topic, because it's about falling from grace. So again, you don't believe, literally know what chapter and verse is the word falling from grace in the New Testament, according to St. Paul. Can you pause the you time, know. please? Pause the time. It's really, time. it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's, it's annoying. Uh, it's not good. It, this is not a... Okay. We have to do something. Got the time? Uh, it's very clear with me here. No, it's not clear with me. If it's clear with you, it's not. I don't know. I mean, uh, it's a lot. It's it's so it's annoying here. Uh, I think that Okay, uh, because we are, we are learning right here inside, we cannot monitor the static from others. Okay, they are all muted now, uh, brother. <coughs> so, proceed to the question one minute and 30 seconds. Question again You quoted to Timothy 2 15 that a man of God should know how to write the divine teaching the truth. So, but Alex, you would affirm now that you have you don't know where the word fallen from grace from the letter of St. Paul in the New Testament chapter and verse. You don't know, yes or no? I, I know that, but I don't know it in memory right now because the book is a big, it, it's a huge book, okay? Uh, I know what I'm talking about that we are justified by faith, not of works. Next question. Next question. So, Brother Alex, even though you did not cite the chapter and verse, the word fallen from this, does it mean loss or salvation? Or still uh, not, not losing the salvation? It's not so lost. It's not lost today, but it will be lost. It will be, if you lose it after the rapture. We don't have the rapture yet. That's why I cited earlier. <clears throat> we'll get caught up in First Thessalonians, and then you're gonna use the book of Hebrew for the tribulation time that you never teach. Next question. Uh, you know what, uh, Brother Ross? I cannot debate like this. I cannot debate like this. It's not. It's not good. Brother Ross, it's very clear from my side here. And so, can you do, let others go up first? Because it's very clear from me here at my side. Sorry for the intervention. Uh, the interruption comes to my other side, not here from me, because from me here there is no stop. If you, if you, uh, if you go and listen to this later on, Brother Alvin, you will not like it. I, I'm telling you. You will not like it. It's not good. It's not good. Sorry for the folks. I don't okay. know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, yes. Uh, so I will decline all the uh, cameras. Uh, decline for them. Okay, uh, we are now on three. So, Brother Albin, uh, let's see the time, the remaining time. Uh, 20 seconds. Brother Alvin, uh, you have... Yes, my uh, next question. The word yes. fallen from grace in the scriptures, do you know that it is before the rapture? According to St. Paul, but Alex, do you know or you do not know? Yes or no? I know it's after the rapture because the grace is the gift of God today. After the rapture, if you fall in from that grace, it is impossible for you to come back. Hebrews 6, chapter 4 to 6. Next question. Uh, Time, time's up. 
Okay, uh, that was the cross examination by Brother Alvin. So let's proceed to the uh, negative presentation for 10 minutes, Brother Alvin. Okay, thank you very much, Brother Alex. Now, can you hear me, Brother Alex and Brother Ross? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I can hear you. I'm I'm muted myself, so I can hear you clearly. Okay, okay thank you very much. So, Brother Alex here, in his first stand and in our first examination, claims that the word fallen from grace is before the rapture. This is now the uh, to show down it, it is before the rapture, Brother Alex, it, because it is not referring to the Hebrew 6, 4 to 6 that you cited. I was puzzled why you quoted to Timothy 2.15 that a uh, man of God should rightly divide the word of truth. And then later, you would affirm with yourself that you are not good in memorizing chapter and verses like I do. So if you rightly divide the word of truth, at least in this topic, because these verses are limited only with this topic, it doesn't mean we have to exhaust every verse in the Bible because it will not suit our time, but it only refers to some few verses. Now, it is before rapture because it is found in Galatians chapter 5, verse 3 to 4. Let me read it, Brother Alex. You are trying to be justified by the law. You have been alienated from Christ, meaning you are put aside of Christ. You have fallen away from grace. This is before rapture, and St. Paul is teaching here to the Galatians, not to the Jews. So since you consider yourself as a Baptist, you consider Brother Alex not only Jewish laws, but in even, even any kind of laws for that matter. Otherwise, if you exempt Christian laws in the New Testament aside from Jewish laws, then you become like a Roman Catholic. So here it is very clear. It, this is a general statement. It does not refer to a Jews. Jews were not here the subject. And then... The Jewish law are not here the subject also. This is the Gentile Christians who converted from being pagans and Gentiles to Christians. So they are alienated by Christ if they become justified by their own good works as pagans, becoming Christians. You have fallen away from grace. So if you fall away from grace, that means your salvation is lost. You cannot be still saved in a condition of uh, being still saved at the present if you are already fallen from grace at the same time. That is opposite. Uh, if you are still saved, meaning you are not fallen from grace. You are still in grace. So if you fall from grace, out of grace, or alienated from Christ, you are outside of Christ, then you are fallen from grace. That means you are not saved. And these people are already be, uh, believe in Jesus because they are already a Galatian Christians. So, but Alex, this is before rapture, so you have your doctrine wrong. And I was surprised, Brother Alex, because I have not heard that, that doctrine from other Baptists. You have modified the, the eschatology of the Baptist Church. I doubt what kind of Baptist are you, Brother Alex? <laughs> because the eschatology of most Baptists, like Ryan Fuentes, uh, it's not like yours that there is before the rapture and after the rapture, it's a different situation. But actually, your Hebrew 6, 4 to 6 does not also mean it's after the rapture because you only follow the numbering of the books because it is in Thessalonians that the rapture is mentioned by Paul. Then books after Thessalonians means already after the rapture. Fallacy of non sequitur it does not follow. <laughs> so, but Alex, even if we read this, this would prove my case. And by the way, our topic is very plain, simple, categorical, and very candid. It states, literally and plainly, you have to prove that salvation can't be lost after you have faith. You see, after you have faith, salvation can't be lost. We are not talking about when, if it before the rapture, that salvation can be lost, even if you are faced, or after the rapture. It's not about before and after the rapture. It's any time in the scriptures. So if you have for after the rapture, Brother Albin, salvation can be, can, be, can be lost if you don't have faith, then it would again prove my case. It does not prove yours. It, it would be destructive. You are doing violence to your position, Brother Alex. 
No? So, if you read Hebrews 6, 4 to 6, let us read this. This is not after the rapture. It is impossible for those who have has once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, who have shared in the Holy Spirit, who have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the coming age, and who have fallen away to be brought back to repentance, to their loss. They are crucifying the Son of God all over again. So meaning they, their salvation is lost to their loss. New International Version, Hebrews 6, 4 to 6. This is further uh, proven. This is before the rapture because in verse 1 to 3, it reads, Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and taken forward to maturity, not laying again the foundation of repentance from the acts that lead to death, and of faith in God, instruction about cleansing rites, and laying on of hands and baptisms, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment, and God permitting. So, so these are fundamental and elementary doctrines, baptism. So this is part of our church age in which there is not yet the rapture happening or after the rapture. So, Brother Alex, you have the scriptures jumbled up. <laughs> it does not prove your case. Again, I would like to emphasize because I am fond of asking and demanding letter by letter because you are sola scriptura as a Baptist. You believe the scriptures alone. Like Mr. Soriano, 1 Corinthians 4, 6, do not accept any doctrine that is beyond what is written in the Bible, in scriptures. That is your uh, fundamental dogma of the Baptist Church and even most Protestants, non-Catholics. Sola scriptura, sola Biblia. Scriptures alone, what is written in the Bible alone, 1 Corinthians 4, 6. So I will always have the right to demand to you because you're not Catholic, I am Catholic. You cannot demand that to me, letter by letter, because I'm not sola scriptura or sola Biblia. So as a Catholic, negative, it is my right to demand to you, but Alex, where in the scriptures can we read, can we read letter by letter the plain statement of your topic that salvation can't be lost, the word can't be lost. After you have faith, you have not read chapter and verse, Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. There is no words can't be lost. The word is salvation, but the word can't be lost, which modifies salvation after you have faith. Faith is there, salvation is there, but the word can't be lost is not there. Again, you run to Ephesians 1, 13 to 13, that there is no, still there is no salvation can't be lost. That is what I am looking about because that is our topic, can't be lost. If you can read that in the scriptures as a Bible-believing Baptist member, and then so you believe in sola scripture or sola Biblia, and you cannot read letter by letter, salvation can't be lost, then you have not proven your case. You're, you're just quoting by say by the Holy Spirit, guaranteed to be saved by the Holy Spirit through the gospel. When you have faith, oh, the faith is there, salvation is there, the gospel is there, but can't be lost or can't be lost or be lost, either or both, negative, positive. You cannot read in the. So now you are here in the affirmative. When you are a good debater, Brother Alex, you have to. Approve your case, your point, because you're the affirmative. I only have to negate, so I have I don't have to, to prove anything because I am not the affirmative side. So, like, so you need really to look for that verse until our time comes when you have in the conclusion already. So if you cannot prove that one single verse in the whole of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation that the word salvation can't be lost, it's not there. The word salvation should be there. Kent should be there and lost should be there because that is our topic, then you are defeated in this debate, Brother Alex. You will fail miserably if you give me a Bible verse for that. Now, Brother Alex, I have told you that uh, as a negative of the Catholic Church, I negated that because, not because the Catholic Church taught me, but because the scriptures is very clear on that. For example, but Alex, in Revelation 3, 5, those who are saved have their names written in the book of life. Now, how can you know that you are in the book of life? That is the answer. You, you have to go to heaven to see if your name is written there. You are still on earth. <laughs> and you can have eternal life if you have eaten of the tree of life. And where is the tree of life? It is also in heaven, like the book of life is also in heaven. Where? 
Revelations or Apocalypse chapter 2, verse 7. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. So have you eaten already the tree of life, for the Alex, in the paradise of God, in heaven? This is the context in heaven. We are already victorious. Time, What's brother. Time, your 10 minutes. 10 minutes is already over? Yes, it's already done, so... Let's uh, proceed to the cross-examination uh, by Pastor Alex. Pastor Alex. Can you hear me, Father Alvin? Can you hear me, Father Alvin? Very loud and clear, Father okay. Alex. Uh, I, I want to ask you, uh, my first question is, uh, what is the example of falling apart? Come again, Brother Alex. The last give me one example close. of falling. Give me one example of falling. Ah, okay. I will give you an example of falling away. You said, but those on the rocky ground are the ones who receive the word with joy when they hear it, and they have root. They believe and have faith for a while, but in the time of testing, they fall away. Away, falling from grace is having faith, and later does not have faith. They report back to having no faith at all, but they start the belief that is falling away according to Christ's order of just letter by letter. You pay 30. Can, can you please pause the time, uh, Brother Jaron? Okay, cut the time. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Brother uh, brother Alvin, uh, favor lang to. No? Can we trust ourselves na, na mag, mag, mag answer lang tayo in 20 seconds? Ipapopause na natin si. Si Brother Ross, para hindi static, baka sa kanya yung static. Is that okay? Static. Okay. Yes, yes, I think so. Yeah, we can, we can just... Uh, yeah. Can you please... Uh, I'm gonna ask the second question now, uh, Brother Ross, okay? Uh, Brother Ross, uh, we're just gonna uh, respect each other on questioning. Is that okay, okay. Brother Ross? I have muted my uh, mic, uh, so let's see if there is a static. Okay, uh, proceed, uh, Pastor Alex. Okay, uh, so if I fall away now, okay. my next question is this. If I fall away now, like what you said, if I ask forgiveness, can Jesus forgive me on that? Yes or no? The question is not clear, but Alex, please repeat that again because okay. uh, the way I, I receive it here is very fast. Okay, time, eight are very fast. Uh, okay, paki catch yung time, clarify ko lang yung question ko, brother uh, Rosa. Here is the question. Can you. Okay, that's clear. Brother Alvin, can you hear me? Yes, yes, very okay, clear. Okay, now here's my question. Okay, now, if I fall away now if I fall away, and ask for forgiveness, now, ask can for Jesus again. forgive me? Yes or no? Yes, if you come back to Jesus as long as you're still alive, Jesus will say, like the lost son in Luke chapter 10. So, no problem. Okay. But when you again sin, okay. you're lost. Okay, uh, my, my, next, my question. next question is this. In Hebrew chapter 6, verse 4, it says, this is a premise, for it is impossible for those who were one enlightened. Impossible. Impossible if they shall fall away to renew them again for repentance. When you say impossible, is this possible? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, for the entity is the situation in which the sinner is a stubborn in going with the sin and not going back to God. So it's not to go back to God. The other situation that you raised earlier is you go back to God. 
Next but question. Similar, but you see, but forgive me, it's not clear. No? But I'm going to say it again. Uh, can you hear me clearly, Brother Alvin? So it, it's, it's not clear, huh? Can you hear me? Yes, no, okay. I'm going to repeat the question here, okay? If I fall away now, can Jesus forgive me, yes or no? Cut the time. Uh, Brother Alvin it's, has a problem. Brother Alvin, uh, if you insist in your Sarah field. Chappy, you have a static signal, maybe. So we have, uh, we cut the time for 6 minutes and 57 seconds. So, can you settle your signal, Brother Alvin? Can you hear him clearly? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it's clear. I'll just off my yeah, camera. Uh, can you hear? I can hear, but the static. I can hear, but the static. Uh, here, he's... There is a static, but I have no other appliances here. But I, I have no computer, computer here. Uh, your uh, the, the screen uh, says electric panel. Oh, so, there is a fork. So I doubt where the static comes from. Uh, Brother Alvin, there is a screen uh, message. Uh, you have poor connection as the screen of yours. I'll come outside. My camera is on. Try to if uh, the signal will move forward. Uh, Brother Albin, uh, try to close your camera first. Let us see what will happen. I can off my camera. Can you off my camera, Bedros? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. I uh, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you now. Yes, I can hear you. Brother. Okay, brother Alvin, proceed, brother Alvin. Okay. Uh, okay. How many? How many? How, how much many, how I have, brother Ross? Six minutes and fifty fifty-seven seconds. Okay. Here's my question. Okay. Uh, if I fall away now, please forgive me. Yes or no? Yes. If you go back to God willfully by your own will, then God will accept you again, 15, like the prodigal son. But if you sin again, again and again, and become hypocrite, then God will not accept you when you die in sin, at the state of mortal sin, Hebrews 10, 26. Next question. Okay. In Hebrews, in Hebrews 6, 4, 6, premise 10, it didn't say again and again, like what again. you're asking before. You're asking for uh, salvation. So here's the premise. I'm going to read it again, and please uh, answer the question, okay? Answer the question. Hebrews 6, 4. Hebrews 6, 4. 4. It is impossible. Impossible means not possible. For those who were once have tasted the heavenly gift. On six, if they shall fall away to renew them again for repentance. My question to you earlier is, if I ask for forgiveness, you said he will forgive me. Right here, it says impossible to renew them again. So, what is impossible here? What is impossible here? My answer to you, Bad Alex, because your situation is that you are not in Hebrews 6, 4 to 6. You only assume. What Hebrews 6, 4 to 6 meant is in Hebrews 10, 26. If we deliberately keep on sinning, so again and again you sin, we have received the knowledge 
of the truth, there is no more sacrifice left for us, for our sins, and we will be punished by God. Hebrews 26-27. That is the context of Hebrews 6-4-6. It's in Hebrews 10-26-27. Okay. Uh, okay. N now, the, on, uh, on first on, uh, on first or on, on second Thessalonians, on second Thessalonians 5, the judgment seat of Christ. What is is what what is what is people going to judge there? Is it the soul or the work of men? Come again, Brother Alex. What particular verse in Thessalonians? Okay, sa sa Corinthians or Thessalonians. Sorry, it's uh Second Corinthians five ten. Second Corinthians five ten. And the judgment seat of Christ. Please repeat the question, Brother Alex. Let me make, hold on. Let me make sure I get the right word. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay uh, in the judgment, in the seat, judgment of Christ, seat of Christ, what what will be what judged will be there? Judged is it the spirit or the, or the soul or the work, or of, or the work of men? Two choices. Two choices. Uh, what would be judged by God from us is our works. But these works, while in the body, whether good or bad, things done in the body, whether good or bad, that is the letter by letter, that, is, that will be my answer. To okay. Corinthians 5.10. Okay. Okay, now, okay, now, in 1 in in Corinthians 3.15, says yes. that the word will be burned, but he himself is saved. No, who is the who saved is the one there? Who is it? Who is, is it the body or the soul? No, it's not the body, it's the soul. But this happens, but Alex, the context here is, this is after death because this is talking about uh, the day of the Lord. In the context, you can read it in First Corinthians chapter 3 above. In the day of God or the day of the Lord will... Oh, verse 12 to 13, you can read it, but Alex. Okay, so I just want to make it clear. You said the soul is saved on that on that day, yes or no? Yes, yes, but because it refers, the context is after death, because it refers to the day of God or the Lord's day. Okay, the, context. Now, okay, now, the one who the were one burned, burned, is that a is that sin? A, yes or no? Yes or no. Yes, the sins are burned. That's why we have a doctrine of purgatory because in the next life, all your sins will be washed away, will be burned through the fire of purgatory. 1 Corinthians 3, 13, 14, 15. That is our Catholic doctrine. Okay, when you next mention question. purgatory, is someone going to go to hell, burn in hell in purgatory? Yes or no? No, if you go to purgatory, 1 Corinthians 3, 15, you will be saved by fire of purgatory. You will not go to hell anymore. You go to heaven because you're already purified. Next question, Brad Alex. Okay, why do okay, you, have, why to do you pray have to pray in purgatory, purgatory if they are saved they are anyway? anyway? Yes, we are saved, but our sins cannot be... Uh, it, uh, heaven would not require us any sin, any little sin in our soul. Revelations 21, 27. So we have to pass through the fires. The cleansing fire in First Corinthians 13, 14, 15 before we go to heaven, but we cannot go to hell anymore. But this is after death. This is okay. not leaving her alert. Okay, now now you said the purgatory, you said earlier that the one who goes to <clears throat> in purgatory will be saved. Yes or no? Yes, this is what we can read in First Corinthians 3, 15. Yet he will be saved, even though only as one who goes through the flames, through the fire. So that is the word. So say, but the context here, but Alex, is after we die, because purgatory is after death. It is not within this earth, this life. So Next it is, question. it does not prove your okay, na, point. Uh, uh, na, now, now uh, in King James Version, in 1 Corinthians 3, 3, 13 through 15, it never say, Never did Never say, did say purgatory. purgatory. So if you so have if purgatory, you have that's your doctrine. I respect that. I respect that. But, but your claim right Brad now... Brad Alex, ask questions. Do not make statements. <laughs> okay. No, it's a premise. It's a premise. Okay, 60. I'll consider. 
when you go to purgatory, because I'm going to get you, when you get to purgatory, you are already saved. Yes or no? Yes, again, but the question is after death. Well, our topic is if uh, the first time you have faith, your salvation cannot be lost anymore here on earth, not in purgatory, not in heaven. Okay. So now, you have not proven your point, Verdalix. Okay. The one in purgatory is a sinner, yes or no? Yes, 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 because you can go for hold, hold on, brother Alvin. Hold on, you have no sins to be cleansed. But hold again, on. the I object with the context is after death, but Alex, so your topic is within this earth. I've not finished yet, but Alex, time, uh, 26 okay. seconds. Brother, brother Alvin, 26 seconds. Yeah, it's a clarify ko lang yung ano, yung, yung sagot mo, okay? Okay. Now, okay. Uh, and then and then this is the last. Uh, okay, okay. The one who went in purgatory is a sinner and he is saved. Yes or no? Purgatory. Is a sinner and he is saved. Yes or no? Yes, again, he is saved, but this Still, this begins according to First Corinthians 3, verse 13, 14, 15. But the context is after death. Our debate is about here on earth. If you have first faith, then your salvation can be lost, which you have not proved in okay. any of your verses. So I'm sorry, but Alex, okay, you failed in this the, debate. Be ready for the next one. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna, gonna get you from head to toe right now. Okay, be ready. Uh, I'm ready to do. Okay, uh, that was the cross examination by Pastor Alexander Santos to Alvin Gitamundok. So let's pro proceed to the rebuttal stand of Pastor Alexander Santos for 10 minutes. Pastor Alexander Santos. Okay, uh, uh, first of all, it didn't come from me. It came out from his mouth that the sinner is saved. That the purgatory that they were telling uh, us or preaching to us, you just go there, but you are saved too. Now, here is the gist. They are praying for you if you are a sinner who will go to purgatory. They claim or they said, we need to pray for you and you have to pay money on that. It may be not uh, they may be not going to tell you how much, but psychologically, they will tell you that this priest or this group of people will pray for you so that you will go to heaven. Isn't that the purgatory? Uh, isn't that the purgatory is meant to be uh, cleansing your, your sins? And then if you, if you pray, then you'll go to heaven. Isn't that that's your doctrine? But how come you're saying that they are sinners or sinner and they still going to go to heaven? That proves one saved, always saved. That's why it's very clear. That's why through questionings, that one, that's why I want more questions because through questionings, uh, I, can, I can get you. So now think about this, Brother Albin. You said I didn't prove one saved, always saved. And I said, if I go fall away, can he forgive me? You said, yes. Yes, he'll forgive me. But it says in, in, in this, in this uh, book, he, in, in, in Hebrews 6, 4 to 6, it says impossible. Impossible for, to renew them again for repentance. But you said, no, that's not what the, what do you call that? That's not what it says. That's, that's, not, the, that's not the meaning of it. You have to look or jump over here to get the textual or, or the context of it. But no, that's what I meant by study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. It says here impossible. But to you, it's possible. 
So that possibility is the one saved, always saved, stand. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of works. To you is work. It is the gift of God. To you, coming from you is work. It's the gift of God. Lest no man should boast. You are boasting. You think you can do the work. How, how, how are you going to do it? Can you give me a list? I'm going to give you a homework. And, and trust me on this one. If you can give me a list that I won't fail, I will be a Catholic. I will defend the Catholicism or, or the RCC. I will defend that if you can give me a list to go to heaven. So now, you, in, you, 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 uh, sort of, you inserted the purgatory, which is not mentioned on the King James Version, okay? N not, not at all. You just, the, the, the one, the Old Testament, when you die, you go to uh, figurative hell, which is tormented, it, it, which is a torment place. You know that the Abraham's bosom, the, the, what do you call that? The poor guy go to Abraham's bosom. The rich guy go to hell. So the purgatory that you're saying, it's not even existed. This is a money-making business. Why? You proved it. It came out from you. It seems like I caught a big fish right here from your wrong doctrine. RCC apologist Brother Alvin Gitamundok said when you go to purgatory, you are saved no matter what. You said that. You said, I, I asked this question. I want you to analyze this. I said, is this person or for those who will go to purgatory, are they sinners? You said yes. And I said, when they go to purgatory, five minutes. Thank you, thank you. Yes, uh huh, yeah. When you go to purgatory, do you go to heaven? You said yes. So I said, when they go to purgatory, do ha do they have a chance to go to hell? You said no. So once saved, always saved. It's just a matter of dividing the word of truth. So a sinner can go to heaven according from you. But you said a sinner will go to hell if they fall away from the faith. So which, which one do you stand? Which one is your stand right here? Is it the falling away? That, that's being sinful to God. If that person dies and go to purgatory, you said it will go to heaven. Did you get it? So now, why did, now it comes to a point now it's money is involved here. Okay, money is involved, so the priest will, will, will pray, the nuns and the priest will pray for this guy. And again, this is money-making business. That's why I'm here to expose you guys. Brother Alvin, a piece of advice from you. I think you're a nice guy because now I, our first debate didn't go well because of sarcasm. But I, I can see your good heart right here. I can see your good heart. I just know right now that you are depending something that it's not right okay that is according from my uh from my opinion and analyzing what you're saying so i think you're a good guy but i have to say this that 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 uh melchor is different than you you are you are both apologists right but i think i respect you more than him before i didn't respect you because of your sarcasm but now trust me Whatever sarcasm you give me, it's not going to affect me as much. Uh, not saying that you are, are wrong about it. I'm just saying it doesn't hurt me as much as Melchor is saying. Because I don't think you're a devil. I, I don't think you're a devil. I just, I just think uh, when I say a devil, the spiritual or the doctrines. Don't get me wrong on that. But Melchor is really a, the spirit he accepted is a devil. I don't see it from you. So I'm against you. I have to put you down. I have to say that, that uh, the, the partnership of Nash Benavides and Melchor, I think this is a clan of business organization. I don't see it from you, Brother Alvin. I don't see it from you. So whenever we debate, we can debate as like this. 
I may put you down, but my wish to you really is to go to heaven. And I hope you kneel and say, you know what, Lord, let me trust your blood for a second. Considering that I am saved anyways. Why do you have to say, why do you have to consider? Okay, consider the purgatory for a second. You're going to go to purgatory and you're saved anyways. When you go to purgatory, are you perfect? Of course not. You're a sinner from what you said. It seems like all of us will go to purgatory. But the good thing about it is all of us is saved. That's that, 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 that one from you coming from you, which is the gist of the topic, that by faith you are saved. And the salvation cannot be lost. When you go to purgatory, you need to be saved. You need the salvation to go to heaven. You said, yes, the sinner will go to purgatory and that sinner will go to heaven no matter what. You said that. So once saved, always saved, isn't it? It just so happened that you have a different route. But there is money involved. In my, on my behalf, there is no money involved. I'm just sharing fully the gospel of salvation. You don't have to pay me. When you believe the blood of Jesus Christ, you are part of the body. You cannot be, you cannot be, uh, uh, God won't leave you nor forsake you. You said that. If you do bad, you are saved too. If you do good, you have a reward. If you do bad, you go to purgatory, which I don't believe. But let's say, suppose I believe from what you said, but at least we are both saved, right, uh, Brother Alvin? So again, I want to uh, I want to expose that I like your heart, Brother Alvin. I pray to God that I wish, Brother Alvin, that you see what I saw for a second. And even if you fight about Catholic or or the RCC uh, uh, doctrines, I still pray for your heart that God may see that you are fighting uh, fighting for Him. Okay. I don't feel any any devilish thing coming from you, okay? But but Melchor, your co-apologist, I don't know if you respect him. I don't know that. And Nash Benavides, this is the what you call. I don't know if this allowed. Forgive, forgive me if I say this. Uh, 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 Melchor is Chanak, that is figurative, a spiritual devil. Is that allowed? Thank you very much for the good presentation. But okay. But Ross, there is still the static, but Ross. Just mute my mic after I try. So, so brother, I'll be for 10 minutes for the cross examination. Okay, can I start now, but Ross? Yes, proceed, brother, I'll be. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Moderator. But Alex, my first question would be, uh, our topic as a premise is that salvation can't be lost after you have faith. Are we not? The question is, are we not here in our debate referring to our life here on earth, not in the next life? Yes or no? Uh, both. <laughs> both. We are referring on both because we have to live our, our good life in order to go to heaven. So it's both. But the main thing is your spiritual salvation. Because our body will decay, Must, uh, it will, it will, it will be the the worm will eat it. It will eat them. So it's not important to me our life on earth. I just want to do good for next them. question. Next question. Actually, but Alex, our one step will be safe is in purgatory and heaven. That is no problem with you, as you have uh, told me earlier. But our problem, our differences, is that uh, you have no purgatory. And our debate is about our life as Christians here on earth. So my question is this. Here on earth, we have no doctrine of one saved, always saved. But do you have doctrine of one saved, always saved here on earth? Yes or no? Let's yes. clear this. Yes, you <laughs> proved it. The doctrine is a belief from the Bible. You proved it that when you go to purgatory, you should go to heaven. The one who goes to purgatory is a sinner. The sinner will go there, right? And then it still go to heaven. So that proves one safe, always safe. Next question. Next question, but Alex, let us just limit, would you allow me that the one safe, always safe doctrine you should prove here on earth, not in purgatory and not in heaven. Can you do that? Yes or no? Uh, can you say, uh, <laughs> at the time I just need the clarification, I didn't understand. 
Uh, I'll repeat the question. Okay, uh, cut, cut the time, 8 minutes and 10 seconds. Brother Alvin, please repeat. I'll repeat. Uh, let's not consider the doctrine of purgatory and heaven with Catholics. Let's just consider our life as Christians here on earth. So my question, Brother Alex, here on earth, where can you find the scriptures, the Bible verse that says, once saved, always saved, when we are here on earth, we have faith, and it cannot be lost anymore, our salvation. Do you have that chapter and verse again in our on earth? Yes, contextually, yes, contextually we'll see them on the, on the first one, 13, 1 through 4, Ephesians 1, 13 through 14, Ephesians 4 to 6, we are seated in heaven, and then uh, Corinthians 3, 13 through 15. Those prove one said always, that those verses prove it. Next okay. question. But that's honestly the word there. Uh, one save always save on earth. Letter by letter. Just affirm if there is no letter by letter. One save always save here on earth. Uh, yes or there, no? Uh, there, there is nothing there is as like purgatory. Like purgatory. No one save no always save. save. But I said but one I said, save always save is a belief. From those who are listening, it's a belief that we are still the same. Even if you go to purgatory. Next question. Again, but Alex, to emphasize our close examination, so you would affirm now with me that there is no letter by letter in your verses saying or telling us letter by letter, literally, once saved, always saved, here on earth, after you have faith, yes or no? Uh, letter by letter, no. Nothing. Thank you. But thank there you. is an understanding, an even understanding, in purgatory, purgatory, once saved, always saved, stand. Because when you go to hell, I mean, when you go to purgatory, you still go to heaven. It's a, it's a logical understanding and it is common sense. Next question. Next question. I have quoted in my first negative stand, Galatians 5, 4 to 5, and then Luke 8, 13, and even 1 Timothy 4, 1 to 3, which you assumed earlier in your stand. So you believe now that here on earth, falling away means losing your salvation. Yes or no? Uh, no, uh, no, no, it's, no, it's, it's falling away. It's falling away. It's away. It's now, as a Christian, now, with purgatory, purgatory, as a sinner, it's still going to go to heaven. So I prove no, my I, case as a Christian. I, However, on a different timeline after the rapture, it's a different story. Next question. Next question, Brother Alex, a specific verse, First Timothy 4, 1, 2, 3. Do you mean those who fall away, Christians who fall away from the faith, then having doctrines of demons and devils, they can still go to heaven and be saved? Yes or no? Yes, at, yes, this, time, at this time. Because right now it's Christian time and we'll be judged on the judgment seat of Christ. And according to you, the sinner will go to the purgatory and still be saved. It's a different timeline. You have to divide it because there is rapture and there is tribulation. Next question. Next question, but Alex. Those Christians who fall away in First Timothy 4, 1, 2, 3, even though they have doctrines of demons, can they be admitted to heaven when heaven says no sin or no lie can enter heaven? Revelation 21, 27. Yes Five, no? minutes. Five minutes. Okay, yes. Okay, yes. yes, right yes, at Christian right. time. The revelation, the revelation that we're that making, the rapture is already done. Already done. That is for the tribulation saints, okay? First five chapter of Revelation, Christian is already gone. The rest of it is your doctrines, which is the, 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 the doctrines of devil. I hope you see that. Next question. Next question, but Alex, you keep saying before the rapture and after the rapture. Where is that in the Bible that there is a, a difference of before the rapture and after the rapture? Why are you always emphasizing that word rapture? Okay. Okay, and in, in okay, first Thessalonians 4, 6, 17, 17 will get caught up. Okay, that's the darkness of Apostle Paul. When you read Matthew 24, it's all about the tribulation and the great tribulation. And that is the rise of the Antichrist. It's sad to say your, your clan or your group is the leader of that. Next question. Next question. Next question, but Alex, so you mean that in the scriptures, there is no really delineation according to uh, the church phases of the church, that there is something like different salvation scenario before the rapture and different salvation scenario after the rapture, yes or no? Yes, there is. There is. There is, there is, there is that's why rightly dividing, dividing the world is important. 
Right now, black right justification, when you are justified, just just if I'll never sin anymore or never sinning anymore because of the blood. We are covered by the blood. After the Christian time, then it will go to the tribulation. Next question. Come, next question. Next question. In Hebrews 6, 4 to 6, but Alex, which you quoted, would that uh, verse uh, be interpreted as that person who has faith first and then fall away Three minutes. because he keeps on sinning, yes or no? Not he, no, 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 not he keeps on sinning. Say that. It says, if they shall fall away, that's one time. It's impossible for them to renew them again because that's a different timeline. Like what I said, Hebrew, the name itself is for the Jews and a little bit of documents from the Christians. That's a different book. Next question. My next question, but Alex, do you know the chapter and verse that the meaning and the interpretation and exegesis, Hebrew 6, 4 to 6, is meant those who keep on sinning, they cannot be uh, put back to repentance again. Do you know the chapter and verse, yes or no? Yes, uh, yes, I know that. But if you go to Hebrew 10, 11, Jesus died once and for all. And, G and in Hebrew 10, 12, he forgave our sins forever. So if you read the context of Hebrew, it's for the, from the church to tribulation. That is Hebrew. That is for the Jews. We are Christians now. So Next question. Next question, but Alex, if you are not laughing to me here and to the rest of the listeners in our debate, can you say the chapter and verse, the exact chapter and verse in which the Scripture says, the Word of God says, deliberate sin is the one who is falling away. Can you say that verse, chapter and verse, if you know that verse, or you are just bluffing us? Where, where what chapter and verse? Okay, no okay, chapter no and chapter verse that in my head, <laughs> but I can counter that. Hebrew 10, 11, Jesus died once and for all. Hebrew 10, 12, Jesus forgive our sins forever. So what else do you want? We are forgiven when we when we believe. Okay, next question. Again, but Alex, just like before, you seem to quote 2 Timothy 2.15, that a uh, man of God should likely divide the word of truth. Now, but Alex, since you cannot give me the chapter One and verse, minute. the exact chapter and verse, that deliberate sinning is what is meant in Hebrews, in the book of Hebrews by St. Paul. Do you now say, that I now say to you that you are not rightly dividing in the word of truth? Yes or no? Because you did not memorize the chapter and verse? Okay, no, no. Let me, let me accept that you are smarter than me. Let me accept that you know the Bible more than me. But let me tell you, your doctrine is from the devil because we are justified by faith and you don't believe that. Next question. Next question. As a premise, I will just cite here by Alex, by words that I meant, which uh, modifies or clarifies Hebrews 6, 4 to 6. If we deliberately keep on sinning after we have Receive the knowledge of the truth. No sacrifice for sins is left, but only a fearful expectation of judgment and of raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. So, Brother Alex, this is not a chapter and verse I'm referring to. Do you believe this? Yes or no? That deliberate I, sinning is falling away. I, I believe that, but if you read the context, it said sacrifice. Right? Right now, we have the blood sacrifice. We have the blood from what you read, no more sacrifice because the church is already taken up. So you have to understand that. Read more and study more. Next question. Time's up. Time's up, Brother Alvin. Time's up. So that was the cross-examination of Brother Alvin to Pastor Alexander Santos. So let's proceed to the uh, rebuttal stand of uh, Alvin Gitaman for 10 minutes. Brother Alvin. Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator, but Ross Kasona, our head of me, moderator tonight, and but Alex Alexander Santos, uh, my friend here, uh, about from the Baptist Church. Now this is my rebuttal stand, so I can uh, say anything here. It is very clear that Brad Alex again, uh, actually he misquotes Hebrews six four to six to prove his case, because actually if you read it well. And now, Brother Alex affirmed that uh, Hebrews 6, uh, 10, 26, he also believe has faith in this word of God, which says, if we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of the truth, 
those are professed for sins is life, but only a fearful expectation of judgment, meaning this is judgment going to hell, and of raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. There is no other destination here for deliberate sinning is when you fall away from grace, you fall away from faith, First Timothy 4, 1, 2, 3, Luke 8, 13, and many verses in the Bible, Hebrews 6, 4 to 6, Hebrews 10, 26, 27, but Alex, this would prove that I have destroyed and demolished your case of once I've always said, here on earth, if you affirm this. <laughs> but Alex, I would like to tell you, uh, I'm laughing here because you have not proven your case from the very beginning. That's why I challenge you. Uh, listen well, listeners and viewers here, not only but Alex, if he can give me a verse in which the title or the topic that we debated in his which Brad Alex, my friend, as a Baptist, Protestant, non-Catholic, would prove letter by letter in the scriptures, chapter and verse, because rightly dividing the word of truth, a sola scriptura, sola biblia, to Timothy 2.15, where in the chapter and verse, salvation can't be lost, or you can rephrase it, once saved, always saved. Until now, Brad Alex has no chapter and verse, and he keep on affirming my verses that I asked him, in Microsoft examination, they always said, yes, that is true, but there'll be, if you de deliberately keep on seeding, you will fall away and you will be roasted by God, judgment by raging fire from God. <laughs> so it is really not say one simple wisdom with Alex, because if we are alive here on earth and we deliberately keep on seeding, when we die in mortal sin, we go to hell. That is not one simple wisdom. Because we have faith first, then we fall away from faith, Luke 8.13. Then we will be thrown into the fire, according to Jesus, Matthew, uh, Luke 8.13. So, Brad Alex, uh, actually, I don't need to give you many verses. By the way, if you mention Brad Mel Manalili, for me, he is a modernist heretic. He is not a true Catholic apologist. For one, he has no Bishop Dilogusio like me. He is only doing apologetics all by himself, meaning self-study. <laughs> so, we also debate with Manalili because he's teaching many things which are not biblical. Adam and Eve is not literal person, not the first man and woman. They are only symbols. <laughs> so there is no first man, there is no first woman. You will be laughing at him. <laughs> Do not be mad at him, but Alex, because when you know his doctrine, you will be laughing at him because this, he's a very funny guy. <laughs> now, again, let's go to the topic, but Alex, let's just leave that behind. Now, here in the scriptures, Brother Alex, I give you the verse, Galatians 5, 4 to 5. You have not rebutted it. You should also rebut the negative stand of the negative. When you fall from grace, you are alienated from Christ. So how can you be saved here on earth? For example, you and me, we both fall away from grace. Meaning we are out of grace because falling away from grace is not within grace. Plus the word alienated from Christ. If you and me are alienated from Christ, in the Catholic theology, it's mortal sin. We are alienated from Christ. We are separated from Christ. So how can we be saved? How can we maintain our salvation? So we have salvation first when we were not yet fallen from grace or fallen away or alienated from Christ. We are still with Christ, united with Christ, and not fallen from grace, not alienated from Christ, not fallen away. So we are still saved. But later, if we fall away, we lose our faith. We do not believe anymore in Christ. We become artists. We become evildoers. So the salvation that we have in the past will be gone today. So there is no one simple we save. Now, Brother Alex, as a bonus, I'll give you the bonus. Actually, yes, in purgatory, in the next life, that is already one simple we save. So it does not win your point because both of us are winners because that is also our doctrine. <laughs> one simple we save in purgatory. That's why I'm laughing because... Five minutes think, remaining time. Oh, I am... Realize, but Alex, that you also are partly Catholic because one say always say purgatory, you believe. And then you told, tell us earlier that you don't believe in purgatory. So why are you happy proving one say always say with the doctrine of purgatory by Catholics? <laughs> that is a great irony. That is also laughable. But Alex, we believe one say always say when you go to purgatory in heaven. But you as a Baptist, the question and the point of debate and controversy is here on earth. And you have not proved your case that here on earth, one save always save, letter by letter in the Bible. And that here on earth, salvation can't be lost. The word can't be lost when you have faith. 
You have not proven with Alex. I'm sorry. Uh, you are now good to me. We don't have uh, any dominant personal attacks. Except for sometimes you'll tell me the doctrine of devils is with Catholics. I'll forgive you for that. You have not made any atominium to me. Uh, let's make this uh, kind of debate when every time we have a debate. Let's do it like this, so very formal and very informative. <laughs> but again, but Alex, I'm not proving your case. One simple always say, but purgatory and heaven is not what it has stake here. Otherwise, if that is true, then you are a Catholic. You believe in purgatory, one simple always say, like me. You believe in heaven, one simple always say, like me as a Catholic. So you are more Catholic than Baptist. <laughs> but here on earth is our debate. If one simple we say is here on earth is possible, or uh, salvation cannot be lost here on earth again in our lifetime from birth to death. So, but Alex, please, until now, you have not yet proven your point. So, I would predict that after this, uh, when we go to the conclusion, we are nearing conclusion, you lost this debate and you failed miserably. <laughs> I won this debate. <laughs> Pedro, how many time do I have? Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, thank you very much, Pedro. Again, to give you another verse, uh, Berlamic, it's very clear. Here, this is before the rapture. All the written, the point also that you always keep telling me that, but Alvin, there is a different situation before the rapture, and then again after the rapture. That is your own personal eschatology, but Alex, it is not true. I have never read many Baptist books here from the Baptist Church. I have not read that. You, you, maybe you have copied it from dispensationalist, strictly speaking, dispensationalist that uh, the age before the rapture is another age after the rapture, before the 1,000 years is another a salvation scheme and scenario after the 1,000 years, etc. But in Baptist theology, everything written there by St. Paul, the pastoral letters of St. Paul, it refers to before the rapture here on, on earth. So, but Alex, for example, First Timothy 4, 1, 2, 3, this is before the rapture. The Spirit clearly says that in later times, so it later times here on earth, no, some will abandon the faith, meaning in later ages, and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Such teachings come to hypocritical liars whose consciences have been sealed as with hot iron. You see, but Alex, if you have the doctrine of demons and you die in that state of having doctrine of demons, in a state of mortals in our Catholic theology, you go to hell, not heaven, because in heaven, Revelation 21, 27, no single lie can enter heaven. So if you have doctrines of demons, which are lies and deceptions, you go directly to hell with the devil. Now, in purgatory, you cannot also be qualified to purgatory if you have doctrine of demons, because doctrine of demons, mortal sins, unrepented, cannot anymore be pushed away by the cleansing fire of purgatory. Catholic theology, Bird Alex, to inform you, is when a soul goes to purgatory, he dies in a state of repentance of his sins. So meaning his sins are already being repented, he have to pay only the temporal punishment of his sins. That's why there is their day. First Corinthians 3.13. It also refers before the rapture. So it's still before the rapture. First Corinthians 3.13, the day of the Lord. And 14.15, the fire, you will go under fire. This is really purgatory, but Alex, by the way, you told us that this is only money-making purgatory doctrine of the Catholic Church. Wrong. Your tithes within the Baptist Church, you're always collecting tithes from members. That is what is money-making because it is that demanded by Christ and the Apostles. In the New Testament, it is only in the Old Testament, Malachi 3, 8 to 10. So, but Alex, you are the one who are making money here, the Baptist Church. <laughs> In the Catholic Church, you are not forced to pay. No? You can have a mass offered without payment if you tell the priest or the secretary you have no money because you're a poor person. But in the Baptist Church, it's required tithings, 10%. If you do not give tithes, you commit Alvin. sin. You're a thief. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brother Alvin. So that is the uh, rebuttal son of Brother Alvin Vitamundo of the Roman Catholic Church. So let us proceed to the cross examination, uh, Pastor Alexander Santos, uh, for 10 minutes. Okay, uh, first question Is there any salvation outside Catholic Church? Actually, no, because our doc doctrine is no salvation outside of the Catholic Church, which means. If you're a Catholic and you 
fall away from the Catholic Church, you cannot be saved if you know the Catholic Church is a true church. If you're outside of the church and you know that the Catholic Church is true, you, do, you refuse to join our church, uh, you cannot be saved if you know the Catholic Next Church question. is true. You refuse to join okay. us. Okay. Okay, I was a Catholic before, and now I'm not a Catholic anymore. When I die now, I'm going to hell, straight up, yes or no? Yes, if you die in a state of mortal sin, but Alex, but if I pray to God that your heart will be changed, at the point of death, before you die, you confess your sins, that Lord, I, re I my heart is changed, I'm now a Catholic, I believe in purgatory, I believe in heaven and hell, <laughs> then you can be saved. Is falling away a sin? Yes, sir. Yes, it's a great sin. First Timothy 4, 1, 2, 3. Because if you fall and alienated from Christ, you do not have the Christian doctrine, the doctrine of demons and devils that could lead you to hell. Revelations 20, 10. All right. So, so, uh, so uh, from you, the Catholic Church is able to go to heaven. Yes, sir. Can you repeat again, Brother Alex? I can okay. hear it here. Then only the cotton shirt will go to the time. Yes. Immigrator, you're telling us cut the time. Why? Uh, because uh, you have uh, you need to repeat the question. You asked to repeat the question from Pastor Alex Santos. So repeating, uh, we we will cut the time for eight minutes and thirty three seconds. So Pastor Alexander, uh, please repeat the question. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to clarify your answer before, and then I'm gonna ask it. You said that only the Catholic Church is able. To go to purgatory and heaven, yes or no? Yes, because the Catholic Church has the doctrine of purgatory, and Protestants and non-Catholics doesn't have that. That's a belief in purgatory, and then only the Catholic Church have the keys of the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 16, 18, 19. So outside of the Catholic Church, there is no keys of heaven. So how can you be saved? We're not Catholic. Next question. Next question. Okay, uh, when uh, do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe in Christ? Yes or no? Yes or no? Believe in Christ? Yes. Yes, but Alex, but we have to fully believe all that Christ teaches. If I say as a Catholic, I believe in Christ, and I do not believe what Christ requires of me, I mean, I will destroy His commandments. Then I'm not really believing in Christ, and I could go to hell. Next question. Okay. Okay. Now let's get to the purgatory. Okay? Let's get to the purgatory. So, in purgatory, the one who's going there are sinners. Yes. Yes, because all of us actually are sinners. No, are, nobody is perfect. Romans 3, 10, 23. So all those in purgatory are surely going to heaven. They are already in the state of one save, always save, but in purgatory. But our debate is here on earth as believers. But okay, now, okay, now, now, now when you go to purgatory, do you pray for you their souls to go to heaven? Yes or no? Yes, because our prayers for them is to so that their cleansing will be uh, will shortened so that they can go to he heaven instantly or the less possible time. That's why we are praying for them. Okay, so if you don't pray for them, they go to heaven. Yes or no? Yes, if we do not pray for them, if we do not offer masses for the dead, perhaps they would spend more time in purgatory till kingdom come. <laughs> okay, so uh, let, so, me, just uh, let me just clarify this, okay? This, okay? If, the priest if the priest or you, or you will pray for the soul in purgatory, this, uh, their this, stay uh, this, in purgatory will be shortened and they will, they will go to heaven. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Then, if you don't pray, they're still going to go to heaven. Yes or no? Yes, but for a very long time spent in purgatory. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. So I have Stop no more questions. questions. Okay, uh, uh, do you want to waive your five minutes and 41 seconds, uh, Pastor Alex? I waived it, I waived it. Okay, thank you very much. So let's move on to the uh, summary conclusion, brother 
Alvin Gitamondok for five minutes. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Moderator, Brad Ross, our head admin and operator for tonight's debate. And thank you very much, Brad Alex, for a very cool, very smooth, and very gentlemanly and respectful uh, opponent in this uh, debate. I'm also proud to dialogue to you about this uh, doctrine about one save always save. Again, I would like to point out, we have agreed with Brad Alex, that is really the doctrine of one save always save. But we have agreed it is in purgatory. Although he doesn't believe in purgatory, we agreed with that. There is one save, always save. Salvation cannot be lost when you are already in purgatory. That is true. No debate. That is also true in heaven. Salvation is already final, definitive, and eternal in heaven. Revelations 3.5, Revelations 2.7. Now, no, no problem with that. No debate with that. We have the same footing. So, actually, but Alex, if you believe that and you agree truly with me, so you are more Catholic Baptist <laughs> because that is Catholic doctrine. In heaven and purgatory, there is one symbol we save. Now, the point of debate is that, but Alex, please do not uh, forget, is that you are the affirmative side. That's why we have a debate because I am the negative. I don't agree with you on this point. That you have to prove that salvation, once you have faith, can't be lost anymore, can't be lost. If you have faith, salvation can't be lost. And the context is here on earth. Even before the rapture or even after the rapture, but the context is within this world, This as long as we live from birth to death, not about after death, when we go either to purgatory or to heaven. So the point of the matter is that, again, I would tell you, Brother Alex, because you have the last five minutes, if you cannot listen, and very clear categorical statement from the words of Christ and the apostles and the evangelists and the writers of the Bible that one save always save here on earth, then you lose this debate, Brother Alex, even though we are friends. <laughs> that is my judgment. Do not be hurt if I, I'll say that. That is only my opinion and my personal judgment on you. Now, if you cannot read, salvation can't be lost. Even after you have faith, can't be lost. And then here on earth, you cannot read that. The context is not right because we have already agreed that in purgatory in heaven, no problem. So it must be qualified with that here on earth. If you cannot again read that for your last five minutes, only an interpretation, only an exegesis, only your opinion, then you failed in this debate. <laughs> in both ways. There is no other expression but Alex once you always said that is the only expression that you can have. That is your doctrine. That is plain, categorical, and simple. Or you can rephrase it into salvation can't be lost if you have faith. That is also equivalent to one symbol of save. There is no other uh, equivalent for that. Maybe you can invent, uh, you can't fall away from grace. You can still not prove it in the Bible. We cannot be alienated from Christ after we have faith here on earth. You can prove it in the Bible. We cannot fall away from faith after we have faith in Christ here on earth. You cannot prove it in the Bible, this all letter by letter, meaning that is only your words. That is not the words of the of God in the scriptures, because you believe as a Baptist Protestant that the scriptures are the literal words of God. So if you cannot read your words in the words of God, that is only your personal opinion and your words. But Alex, by the way, you have a different uh, kind of eschatology from the Baptist Church. I hope you would uh, actually come back to them. Maybe you are only alone and solo. <laughs> So we are not in communion anymore with the Baptist Church because you have a different eschatology. You make uh, the landmark uh, rapture to be different. The scenario and scheme of salvation before a rapture is different after the rapture, which maybe only the specialists believe and not really the official teaching of the Baptist Church in America or any Baptist uh, denomination for that matter. But Alex, I would like to remind you that our purgatory doctrine does not require money. It is only your acquisition. I so respect your opinion. Because it is not required of us, we can be saved without giving money to the church. But in your church, the official Baptist church, Baptist doctrine, if you do not tithe according to Malachi in the Old Testament, 3 verse 8 to 10, that is Old Testament covenant, not New Testament, that, that is not by grace. You sin, you are a thief. You took away from God something that you owe to God. So you can go to hell if you do not tithe to the Baptist church all your life. You will end up to hell because you will be a thief. 
So, Brother Alex, I think you must uh, sweep first your house. You must clean first the Baptist Church before accusing and attacking the Catholic Church. <laughs> ministers, uh, stop your asking ties from us, your members. Time stops, Brother Alvin. That is also money making. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. This is, uh, Brother Alvin Itamundok from the Roman Catholic Church as the negative side for this debate. So let's proceed to Pastor Alexander, Alexander Santos of the Baptist Church for the five minutes summary conclusion. Pastor Alex? Okay, uh, five minutes, right? Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm just laughing because like what I've said, I respect you even more now that I know whom you are. I know how you fight for your for your faith, which, which is, I understand. Uh, so... Uh, my message right now is not from the Baptist uh, believers, okay? My message now is to the Catholic believers. For those of you who are Catholics now or, or fanatic Catholic, uh, you don't have to go to the church. Always think of Jesus. Although you're sinning, but that's not a, uh, what do you call, uh, falling away. You just don't want to go to the church. That's a sin, according to Brother Alvin. You don't have to give money to all the members of a uh, Catholic church. You don't have to give money. That is not pleasing God. You sin against God. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to, 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 to feed the poor. You don't have to do that. Although that's a sin according to our fleshy deeds in heaven, those are sin, okay? We're doing a lot of sin here anyways as a Catholic, okay? Just listen to Brother Alvin here. You don't have to uh, to buy the, the saints, you know, the images. According to the Catholic Church, according from Brother Alvin, that, that is sin, okay? So, you don't have to do anything, especially giving money. You don't have to do all of them. You know why? You're going to go to purgatory anyways. When you go to purgatory, according uh, from uh, Alvin, Brother Alvin, you're going to go to heaven. You know what you do? Save a little bit of money and give it to Brother Alvin or to the priest. Just save money and put an envelope right there and put a note when i die can you please give this to to brother alvin or any other priest so that when i die in purgatory it will be shortened and i will go to heaven for those of you who has no who have no no money don't worry about it you will have an extended suffering but you're still gonna go to heaven so what is the problem here guys Again, it's money-making business. Did you see it? I hope you guys saw it. I see it. That's why I'm not a Catholic. Because it's all fully money-making business, psychological doctrines, prosperity gospel, and it's the gospel or the doctrine. Uh, if you get hurt on this, you know what? It's up to you. But like what I've said, I, res I respect your faith. That is the doctrines of devil. It is the doctrines of devil. You know why? Because Catholic is, is not respecting what Jesus did, but respecting what Mary did. Mary is your goddess, the mother of God. There is no mother of God. In fact, they called it Mystery Babylon the Whore in Revelation. So again, with all seriousness right here, the justification of the blood, the righteousness of God is the salvation today. If you don't see that, you'll go to hell. There is no purgatory. However, if you believe in Catholic Church, which is, I don't believe, he said you're still going to go to the purgatory and still going to go to heaven. What if he is wrong? Then you'll go to, you go to hell. What if he is right? Then you go to heaven. So there is right or wrong there. 
But if you trust the blood of Jesus Christ, there is no way for you to go to hell. As Christians, we're Christians now. He's preaching about all over the Bible. All over. 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself. Get all the verses for Christian time. Because eventually we'll get rapture, we'll get to the tribulation, and we'll get to the millennial kingdom and end of the world. All of those uh, practices or teaching, Brother Alvin mix them all together. That's why you have faith and works. Right now, Jesus died. Don't be rude to, to what he did. He did the salvation for us. Why do you have to go against it? Just trust the blood, have faith, and you are sealed and saved. Thank Time you. Is up. Uh, that's all for this debate. Uh between Pastor Alexander Santos and Alvin Gitamundo. Congratulations to the, to the two debaters for, to, for this evening. So, two minutes. Uh, let's give for two minutes for the greetings. Uh, Brother Alvin, uh, anyone you can greet for two minutes? Okay, thank you very much, Brother Ross. Uh, first, before greeting my friends here, allow me to uh, make this challenge to uh, Brad Alex Santos. Brad Alex, would you like to make another debate with me? I will prove that the Catholic Mary is biblical. I will be affirmative. You will be negative. I will prove through the scriptures that the Catholic Mary is biblical. And you negate. Would we be all right? We'll schedule that next uh, week. Yes, yes. Brad Alex? Uh, um, uh, next yes, Saturday. Yes. Okay. Next okay. Saturday. Okay, okay. So, Brad Ross, take note. So, thank you very much, Brad Ross and Brad Alex, for this wonderful debate tonight. Very peaceful. You have learned many things. This is for the grace of God. <laughs> I do not uh, judge you that you are also a devil <laughs> and you're going to hell. Anyway, God will be the judge of both of us. And then I would like to give my uh, thanks to all the Catholic defenders in the Philippines, especially those who are really... Uh, Pastor Alex, can you hear Brother Alvin? Uh, no, I cannot. It's, kinda, uh, it's not a good uh, signal right now, Brother Ross. Okay. Uh, since uh, Brother Alvin is having some trouble with his uh, signal, so let's uh, proceed, uh, Brother Alex, for your two minutes for greetings. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, Brad, uh, thank you so much for giving me a chance to, to be in your platform. Uh, I really appreciate it, Brad. And then uh, uh, we have a uh, spiritual dealing on the side, and you know that. So uh, I'm supporting you 100% from what you're doing because uh, from what you're doing right now, we, we're having a chance to, to expose and to at least to defend our faith. So uh, for Brother Alvin, like what I've said, uh, coming from my heart, uh, before I didn't respect you because of your criticism and sarcasm, but uh, I, I, I apologize from what I did uh, uh, from our first debate because I'm, I'm looking on the perspective of uh, uh, like uh, all the debaters. To me, it's like uh, they're, all, they're all low class and fanatics, okay? But, uh, but, but I see your point from what you're doing. And again, we may, we may have sarcasm, but then uh, uh, let, let us just adopt and accept that that is part of the, the debate. But my, my respect to you, uh, with you, for you, is really uh, is, is a wish that's coming from my heart that I hope that you are right. And I, I hope that I may see that. Vice versa, that, that I hope you may see what I saw because I'm justified by the blood and I'm saved now. So I don't have to do any work. And thank you so much for your, for your time also. And for those listeners, for the listeners that, 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 uh, that watch us, please see what he is uh, trying to expose and, and try to see what I'm trying to expose also, that the salvation. And we both wishes that, that all of us will go to heaven. All of us will... Uh, should go to heaven according from our faith and we should find it on our own. 
It's not the religion. Again, it's not the religion. We should see it ourselves. And may God bless us all in Jesus' name. Brother Jay, Brother, Brother Ross, thank you so much once again. Thank you. Okay, uh, the Philippine debaters also giving thanks to the two debaters, Pastor Alex Samuel Santos from the Baptist Church and Brother Alvin Gitamundo from the Roman Catholic Church. So we are inviting anyone who, who want to participate in our debate platform, Philippine Debaters Association. Uh, please uh, leave some message for to J. Rod Castros, the admin of this uh, debate platform, if you want to uh, participate in a debate. So this debate now it has uh, closed. Uh, we have closed this debate as uh, we was doing uh, since uh, Albin Gitamundok is out. So Albin Gitamundok, uh, thank you very much for your participation and God bless you all and congratulations for the very good debate that was being held today, tonight, in the Philippine Debaters Association. So let's uh, close the uh, live. Uh, this is Admin Ross. Uh, we are now out. Thank you.